Hi, and welcome to the second example on finding the length of the curve. First thing I want you to notice in the second example that is that um, x is a function of y. So we're looking at um, a range from negative 2 to 2 for the y value. So in this problem, we need to use the formula where we've got the length of the curve going from c to d, and we just use c and d instead of a and b to kind of remind us that we're going in the y direction instead of the x direction. Our formula is the same. We still have 1 plus the derivative squared, but this time the derivative is the derivative of x with respect to y. All right, so this is the formula we need to use. Again, the first thing we do is we take the derivative. So the derivative of x with respect to y is going to be 3y squared. That's a really nice derivative, isn't it? Super easy. We can take this. We can plug it in here. We can rewrite our formula. So the length of our curve is going to go from c and d are our y values from negative 2 to 2. And we want to make sure that our derivative is defined on that interval. So if we look at here, we have no domain or in this case range restrictions. So we're in the clear. So our length is going to be defined by the integral that I've written right here. And again, you can use your calculator to evaluate this. Um, that's what I'm going to do for this particular example. If you want to work this out by hand, it's a little bit more complicated because you get a 9y to the fourth. So it's not just a simple substitution problem. And when you do this one in your calculator, you end up with a length of 17.2607. So if we want to look at the graph of this, which I have over here, we're going from negative 2 to 2, and you can see the length of the curve here would be defined by that value that we just found. So there's the curve. We're just looking at that chunk, and we get this value. Again, remember if you're taking the A, B, or B, C test, you can truncate around three decimal places, so this could be 17.260. You do need the zero to indicate you've found the third decimal place, or 17.261. Either one of these would be fine for the A, B, or B, C test. All right, there's another example. Please continue watching. 